Why does one person fall into this category and not in the other category? But there's also just an element of what was it that you found soothing? What was your strategy? What did you come across that helped you? And whether that was to avoid things and worry a lot and become anxious or retreat into yourself and criticize yourself and ruminate a lot and become depressed or start using drugs or distract. You can see we're already having the same mechanism but different expressions. Or maybe if it was truly traumatized, you'd, you'd become not as a deliberate strategy, but something that just happens indifferent. Like that's a strategy too. That's what psychiatrists would call negative symptoms of schizophrenia. But the idea of just numbing yourself and just becoming flat, apathy, that's, those are strategies too. And they stem from a time in that person's life where it was needed because there was so much pain that they had to turn everything down, also the positive ones. And then that strategy tends to just move on, right? Yeah. So you can see already from this one minute presentation of it, we have a lot of different expressions, but the mechanism is the same. Obviously it just happens naturally, but that's just the way to, to explain that these are motivated behaviors, they have a function, they serve a function. So you'll find yourself stuck in ways that help you. And now your job is to break free from them.